I mean, let's just start from there. What are your overall uh, um, impressions of those numbers? 12.8% is pretty much what many analysts that I spoke to were expecting, that we'll see inflation rising to above 12%. But what are your thoughts? And breaking down the numbers, what are the major things that you see? Well, I do not think we should make too much of month-to-month -month fluctuation in the inflation rate. I mean, we should be worried about the underlying trend of inflation. So going up from uh, the low level recorded the last time, was it 11.1 to 12.8 could, until you pin down what factors are behind that, you, it may not be something you should worry about. Mm -hmm. Surely when I looked at the food component, that, you know, remained very low. This mm -hmm. was driven by, you know, all items, like less farm produce. So. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed, that's a good point you're making. Um, just 0.4 percent month-on-month growth for food inflation, compared to 1.7 percent for the non-food items. To that extent, would you say that we're seeing the inflationary pressure? I know you've been somewhat critical about monetary policy recently, but do you think this is any evidence of inflationary pressure going forward? Well, inflationary pressure has more to do with persistence. You need, you know, the uh, index to rise persistently for maybe more than three months, then you know you have an underlying pressure you, you need to deal with. It came down last month. It came up this month. You are looking for the trend, you know, so you shouldn't worry about it fluctuating around that trend. So mm -hmm. this could just be in a mere fluctuation in the index. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we've seen some minor reaction in the bond market, but what are the expectations going forward in your view? Obviously, we have, we've had election. There's been a lot of spending this month. Uh, many people will be looking at the April numbers when they come out. And then, of course, um, those numbers will come out probably just before the next Monetary Policy Committee meeting. What are your expectations for inflation going forward, given these scenarios in Nigeria right now? Right. And surprisingly, I try to look at you, what we are discussing is the composite composite price index, which is, you know, a weighted average of the rural and urban. If you look at the urban index, mm -hmm. it's tame, it's single digit. Right. If you look at the rural index, it's in double digits, about twice as high as the urban index. So you get worried, you know, about, okay, if this was truly election spending, are we saying that election spending happens more in the rural area than in the urban area? Mm -hmm. So I don't think we should try to read too much uh, into one month reading, mm -hmm. and I don't think we should begin to build expectations, you know, around a, a single month reading. Mm -hmm. I guess we should just regard this as a blip in the index and hope that the downward trend that it's been on since uh, September last year uh, should still be, you know, on course. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, we, you mentioned the downward trend, so we're about between 10 and 12 percent there about recently. Would you say that that's the, expe the levels that we should be anticipating going forward? I thought we were already approaching single digit. And I'll expect that in the next quarter or two, we should see inflation, you know, return to single digit. Mm. Unless you see a recovery in demand. Unless you see strong demand growth, strong liquidity growth, which we haven't seen, mm. you know, until, you know, the numbers thrown out by the central bank start showing that people now have access to more cash or people are holding more money, it would be wrong to expect inflation to spike. Mm. You've mentioned something about money, money supply recently. Um, we've seen that money, the monetary aggregates reflect very slow growth in money supply. And, you know, obviously that shows somewhat low inflationary pressure. But everyone continues to talk about the exchange rate and the pressure that we might see in, in that regard. And that perhaps is one of the main reasons why the central bank is having a, a, a more um, contractionary monetary stance right now. What are your thoughts on monetary policy as we're applying it right now? And you've always, always talked about the negatives, about the Im impact of higher interest rates. What are we seeing significant impact right now uh, in terms of slowing down growth in Nigeria? Well, uh, growth figures I don't know, but the issue about monetary policy as it is now is there seems to be too more concern about inflation and the exchange rate than we are concerned about real output growth and employment. So I think we need to balance both, knowing that the world economy just got out of a recession. Mm. Uh, growth figures 
do not necessarily translate to improved employment. And I think that the managers of the monetary policy need to say more you know, about the connection between the growth figures that they report and the employment situation, you know, especially in sectors you know, that are sensitive to monetary policy. I'm not sure that uh, the recovery that Nigeria has is that strong enough you know, to be able to withstand the kind of interest rate hikes we've seen recently. Mm. I thought we should have shown more concern you know, about the real effects of the interest rate hikes.